Now in this video I'm going to be attempting to install Microsoft Edge in Windows Vista via the extended kernel. Now you may notice where is the tower? Well, it's actually right here. I moved it. Just thought it'd be a cleaner setup. But anyway, I have the installation on this USB stick. Then I'm going to plug it into the computer. So I just plug that in there. There we go. We're gonna go. Now it's a installation for Windows 7. But since this is the extended kernel, it should work. Hopefully. Okay. We've detected the USB. Now we are going to attempt the installation okay then so the contents of the USB have loaded I'm just going to close this window here and then we can run the setup. It might not work. It might give us an error, or it'll probably. Oh! Oh, user account control. There we go. It's just this poor old computer is a bit slow. That's probably why it was taking so long to uh, actually detect the USB. But as you can see, the Edge installer seems to be working there might be a few compatibility issues unable to connect to the internet Clearly it is on the internet. So I've no idea why it's struggling. Uh, well, this might be a fail then, because it's not connecting to the internet. We could try it again. To be honest, I don't think it's going to work. If you use a file, no, I don't know. <sighs> I have a feeling this is going to be more of a troubleshooting video rather than a uh, will it work video. So, a uh, firewall, so I assume that would be somewhere in the Windows security thing. So, I'd have to go to start. And it probably be control panel.
so security allow programs through windows firewall will want that it's going to give us a user account control blimey this computer is really slow and laggy today I hope it's not a sign the hard drive's dying. I might install Crystal Disk Info just to see if the hard drive's doing okay. But that will probably be for another video. Finally. Firefox, let's see. I don't see Microsoft Edge on the list. Add program, I guess. Oh, wow, this is slow. This is actually being really slow. <laughs> Finally. We'll go browse. And then we'll go to Removable disk, Microsoft Edge setup. So we should, it should be in, there we are, Microsoft Edge setup, that's okay then. So now, let's try again. Well, it didn't work, so I am afraid I'm going to have to call this a fail. So, if you're wondering if you are able to run Microsoft Edge in Vista, I mean, to be fair, to be real fair, I don't actually think the internet's working properly on this anyway because it's using one of them little tiny... USB powered Wi-Fi adapters so I think that that is too slow for it so I'm gonna keep the installation on this USB and hopefully if I get a, a faster Wi-Fi adapter then I will possibly give it another try but until then it's a fail